I'm going to teach you about the relationship of voltage, current, resistance and power have on a circuit. Here's a practical example of how voltage, current and resistance work in a circuit. So you can think of a garden hose and a tap. The tap is the voltage, so the more pressure you put, the greater the voltage because think of uh, voltage as potential difference or an EMF, electromotive force. It's the pressure of this hose. So the more voltage or more pressure, the more current will flow. So let's have a look at this hose. So we'll turn it on just a little bit. So it's got low voltage, low current. So if I turn that up, the more pressure or more voltage, the more current will flow. Now, let's have a look at resistance. Resistance is the opposition to current flow. So if I kink this hose, I've added resistance in the circuit. So that's, that's restricted the flow of current. Now a variable resistor is an adjustable resistor. So if I adjust the resistance, it's restricting the flow of current. Voltage and current are directly proportional. So if you double the voltage, you'll double the current. And resistance is inversely proportional to the current. So if we double the resistance of the circuit, we will halve the current flow. For example, we have 10 volts in a circuit, 2 amps and 5 ohms. Now first we'll focus on the current and voltage relationship. So remember that the current is directly proportional to the voltage. So if we double the voltage, we double the current. If we halve the voltage, we halve the current. So let's see how this works. So let's say we didn't know the current, but we know the resistance and we know the voltage. So what we're going to do is use Ohm's law to calculate what the current should be. So we all know V equals I times R and I is equal to V divided by R. So we have 10 volts divided by the 5 ohms gives us 2 amps. Now let's half the voltage. So now let's say we've got 5 volts and 5 ohms so the resistance stays the same. Same formula, voltage divided by resistance. 5 divided by 5 is 1 amp, so it's halved. Let's have a look now how resistance affects the circuit. So if we had 5 amps, we've got everything the same. 10 divided by 5 is 2 amps. Now let's double the resistance just to see what happens. So if this was 5, we'll double it to 10. So current equals 10 divided by 10, so 10 volts and 10 ohms of resistance equals 1 amp. So we've doubled the resistance but we've halved the current. How power is affected with the change of current. So if we start off with our 2 amps we can work out 10 volts times the 2 amps equals 20 watts being drawn or dissipated through the resistor. Now let's see what happens when we double the current. Don't forget, to double the current, we actually have to, the voltage has to double. If the resistor stays the same, if the current doubles, so will the voltage. So, then we've got power equals 20 volts multiplied by the 4 amps, and that gives us 80 watts. So, the power has quadrupled or times by four compared to earlier. Let's have a look now how changing the resistance affects the power. So let's have a quick look at our formula. We'll use P equals V squared or the voltage squared divided by the resistance. So with our five ohms that gives us 10 squared divided by the five gives us 20 watts. Now let's say we double the resistance this time. So, voltage squared divided by the resistance. So 10 squared divided by the 10 now. 
So that gives us 100, which is 10 squared, divided by the 10. Now that's given us 10 watts. By doubling the resistance and not changing the voltage, that has halved the power of the circuit. Let's have a look at the magic triangle of Ohm's law. If you draw this in your books or in your notes, you can always refer to it and you remember the formula. So if we have a look at this, V's on top. So let's say we're looking for voltage. So what we do is we cover up the V and we've got I R, so I times R. If we're looking for the current, we cover I, which is the current, and we've got V divided by the resistance. Or if we're looking for R, we just cover the R, then we've got the voltage divided by the current. 